It's 11.42. Yeah, why are we just getting to filming right now? And who's that focus box on? It's on me. Why is it on you? Because because I'm the damn star. You're the one that moves around all I'm the time. I'm the damn... You, you, you are the one that loses I'm focus. I'm the star. You're That's the why it's on me. focus. Exactly. I sit my in one place. Apparently, I'm a clown. I was you know? going to call you <laughs> yeah. that. We are filming uh, late. Uh, because also, sometimes... Also known as the... Boss. Uh, sometimes your boy here is a diva, so that's why we're filming late. Okay? Just, just but, a little. good news, guys. It has nothing to do with you guys. You guys get to enjoy the episode. Alright? So before... Wolf All take... the sacrifices made on this part. <laughs> so before we get to the episode, we ask you a couple things. Please, hit that like button. And if you ain't a part of the Wolf Tick Nation, become a part. Hit that subscribe button as well. This right? old man should be in bed already. A little backwards, man. <laughs> Off my hand! Tomatoes! Oh, Alright, let's go. Wolf Tick Nation, thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tick Videos episode. We are super excited that you guys are here, and I am super excited to break into this monster back here. This is the all new $398 Ozark Trail. Buh. Buh. 29ers. It's, a, it's an Ozark Trail. It's like, did they forget to like? They put forgot the name to name it. it. The other one was a vibe. The other one was this a vibe. This is a just Ozark Trail. It's just an Ozark and everyone's trail. like, oh, you got the wrong one. It's got a Big Brother version. That's uh, but they every time they came to the name, it was like it's a Ozark Trail. The hundred dollars more than the hundred dollars more than the vibe. It's a twenty nine er version. The frames are actually sized, and this one here behind me is a medium. Because frame. we couldn't find the small. Yeah, so this thing's got some pretty cool stuff. And are we going to be really answering the question? Is this the next Walmart big box store I, best I, bike yet? We're going to answer that. And we're going to talk about who it, who it may be for. Yeah. After um, we get done looking it over. Positives and negatives. We're going to get real scientific on this episode. We're going to measure some no stuff science. out. We're going to spec the bike out. So guys, again, hit that. Like button, hit that subscribe button, man. Wolf Tick Nation, let's get into this. Yeah, go ahead and reset. And then clap it up. All right, guys. Well, here we go with the initial impressions of the Ozark Trail. $398. Are you guys ready to see the biggest damn dork disc? What in the hell? We will be cutting the dork disc off of there, okay? So, uh, before we get into the initial impressions with this all-new mountain bike, we are going to be doing a magnet test. Seeing what is steel on this bike, what's aluminum. Frame is aluminum. The wheel set is aluminum. The spokes are steel. The cassette, we'll be talking about that. It's going to be very interesting. Is steel, okay? The lowers on the fork, okay. Those are either, what, like magnesium or aluminum or something? I mean, they're not, not sticking to the magnet. They're not steel. These stanchions steel. are steel. The stem is aluminum. The bars are aluminum. And the brake levers are actually aluminum or magnesium, whatever those are. And the seat post tube is aluminum. Okay. Uh, crank arms, aluminum as well. And pedals are plastic. Chain ring? Chain ring? Steel. steel. This bike is super exciting. Like we said before, it is. Uh, they do offer it in a small, medium, and a large. And Did this... Have we confirmed that? Yeah, yeah, we confirmed that because I was looking on Walmart site. They said small, medium, large. I started looking for all this over bike. for this bike. Wow. Just the Ozark Trail. Do you think the small is a unicorn? The small might be a unicorn. It might be super hard to find, but I'll tell you guys what. If we haven't done any changes to this thing and I see a small in Walmart and it's within the return, I'm going to exchange this bad boy for a small because I would love to see what a small looks like compared to this. We'll be doing a standover on this. I just want to say I don't think it's going to be the greatest, okay? But guys, let's go and start specking this bike out because it's got a whole lot to offer. This right here really might be Walmart's best bike yet. Walmart's best value yet. Best value yet. Now let's talk about the wheel set. The wheel set is a double walled aluminum wheel set, 32 spokes. Yes. Yeah, I know what you guys are going like, man, Ooh. you guys are diving deep. All right, so we got 32 spoke. Um, and what's very cool about this bike is it actually has rims that are drilled out for Presta as opposed to the Schrader, right? And you know, all, what I always carry, I always carry Presta with me because we kind of mix match sometimes and we have so many Presta, so many Schrader. The great thing about a Presta is it fits with all bikes, it, uh, the tubes that is. Yeah, okay? and a pinch. Yeah, know. and a pinch. Um, and both of these wheels are quick release. That's that's awesome, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Uh, now let's talk about these tires, okay? The uh, tires are 29 by 2.35 inches wide. The front and the rear are both the same. They're Kenda, but no no real name brand or no uh, no model number with the Kenda, just 
Kenda. Okay. One thing that I do like about Which the tires... Which is weird because it looked like other tires we've seen on some of the other bikes. Yeah, like the Axum and the Ardor. And, and what was the... That's uh, the, pretty the, much the same tire. I, I think it looks a lot like what was on the Sandstorm. It may have been. I think those were like Chow Yang's or Jackrabbit Slim's or something like that. I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. Um, these tires here... I'm not sure how well they're going to do. They'll probably do decent with the hard pack stuff. On the rocks, they'll probably be pretty slippery. But I bet these things will be some very fast rollers. So make sure you guys tune in on the real-time review when we uh, hopefully take this thing down to everybody's favorite test track. Yes, it's the Cat's Meow. Now, um, the downside to this wheel set and the frame design, and they're 29, um, they're 29ers, I don't know if I mentioned that. The downside to the tires, at least, or the frame design, is I can't really get my finger in between the frame and the tire back here. That's a 2.35, and you're going to say the seat post tube? Oh, I'm going to say that's a plus. Oh, you think that's a plus? You know why? To have the skinny in the back so we can go fast or no, what? No, 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 no. The reason I say that's a plus mm -hmm. is that means this chain stays are probably a little short. Might be a little bit short. Be a little more playful. Um, so the downside, in my opinion, is... You know, you got a pretty tight spot here. I'm not sure on how much more knobbage you guys could go with the seat post knobbage. tube here or on how wider of a tire you could go. I don't think you can go anything past the 2.35. I think it's the max on the rear. Uh, so that that's kind of worries me a little bit. All right. Now, let's talk about the group set. You mentioned earlier, I was really, no, it won't. I was really excited about showing you guys or talking to you guys about the cassette. The entire group set, get this, guys. This is our first big box store bike that actually comes with an LT Woo! group set. Also known as L2. Oh, not, uh, yeah, also known as L2 to some of you other guys out there, but you know, most of the... If you want to be boring, you can call it L2. Yeah, so it's an L2 A5 9-speed group set. L2 gets a little upset about our LT Woo stuff. They do. You know what? They should just listen to us on marketing. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Uh, now, as far as our um, experience is concerned, we've done pretty damn well. I mean, the L2 stuff has done pretty well on the channel, right? We've had like an A7, we've had an A10, an AX11, uh, a lot of people uh, think A12. We didn't like the A7 because the chain broke on there. You were kind of bad mouth a little bit, but I mean, the A7, if given put appropriately in what it's designed for, yeah. A7's great for the money. Yeah, I mean... The, but you know, the A12 has been... A11 and A12 has yeah. been great. Yeah, what I'm getting at, guys, is our experience so far, these things have been, I don't want to say bulletproof, but they stay in tune. Uh, they don't really require a lot of maintenance. I mean, we don't really maintenance our, our L2 stuff very much, and the suckers just stay tuned in. So we are going to be doing a shift test. That's going to be pretty interesting to see from the store um, yeah. to Wolf Tick videos yeah, no, how this thing shifts. Don't count that against L2. Yeah, but the A5 L2, we got the trigger shifter up front. It does have the display window. Now, as we mentioned, it is a one by, and the rear cassette back here is actually an 11 to 42 tooth free hub. Yes, $398. It's about time, under the $400 mark, that we get a free hub on the bike. Uh, that we, I can actually, if we're getting tired of the L2 group set, we can change that sucker out and just buy a new group set and throw it on this thing and not have to buy a new rear wheel. And get this, guys. The group set, along with the brakes, we'll talk about those next, are internally routed, okay? Right throughout the chainstay. And it's right at the rear of the chainstay. I'm not saying like, oh, it's way up here. It's out the side. It's up the front. There's a clip here. And it's not really. No, this thing is completely internally routed and it makes for just a clean look. Now let's talk about the crank set. The crank set has a 30 tooth round. It's not a narrow wide. It's just kind of a, a generic round chain ring, right? And it's steel. It's not, wait, 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 are you sure it's not narrow wide? I'm positive. Um, it has 170 millimeter crank arms that are aluminum. And the very cool thing about this bike, guess what? What? The bottom bracket is a sealed bottom bracket. Is it really? Yeah. I so uh, I checked it. I looked at it. You can it's a, see? Yeah, it's a sealed bottom bracket. So unlike a lot of those nasty uh, ones that we've done on the Ardor one. You can see it up in there? Well, yeah, you can see the design of the uh, the cups on the outside, so you know that it's a sealed bottom bracket. So the group set's going to be interesting. See if we get any chain slap. Uh, let's go and talk about well, these brakes. Is it routed for dropper as well? Yeah, it's routed for a dropper wow. as well. We're, we'll talk about that. Uh, let's go and talk about these brakes. These are mechanical disc brakes. We've got 160 rotors in the front and in the rear, okay? 
Uh, now, the interesting thing with this, again, this is our first bike. I think that we've ever had a Wolfstick videos that actually has, well, at least YouTube's Wolfstick videos, um, that actually has a rear brake that is internally routed as well. So that's pretty interesting. It's on the rear of the chainstay, and it's like clean back there. That is one of the downsides of some of the bikes that have this internal routing. And I think I mentioned this on Project Cheech the other day and on Project uh, The Sauce, our Schwinn Ascension that we've got. Up underneath where they just kind of drill a big hole and they run your cables through, it sometimes starts to interfere with your crank arms. And the neat thing with this is it kind of slips right past your crank arms and goes right to the, the rear. You know what I'm saying? Almost really near the, the dropouts for the rear brake. So I am a fan of that just going to stay out of the way. Now let's go ahead and talk about this seat post tube. I'm going to cut this off. Who needs a manual? Seat post diameter. You guys tell me when last time you've seen a big box store bike, well, a Walmart bike, that actually has a seat post tube diameter of 31, well, big box store. 31 .6 millimeters. That's that's surprising. Yeah, it is surprising. We always see a 27.2 or maybe or a 30.8, is it? Nine a 30.9, something like that. Uh, seat is probably the most generic thing on this bike so far. It looks very uncomfortable, but we'll be talking about in the real-time review as well. And you got a little quick release. Now, this is something that we have not done yet, guys. Uh, what is a medium supposed to be? A uh, medium normally Frame size? is 17 inch. A 17 inch? Normally. All right, this is what we're going to do for this bike. If I you have guys, a this one might be a 17, 17 and a half. If you guys remember, on the Ozark Trail Vibe, the one that actually had a name, that frame was what? Was it 18? It was 19. It was like 19. That was like a large frame. It's supposed to be it a 27.5. It, it was terrible, right? It was a medium, but it was 19 inch. Full disclosure, we did return the Vibe because yes. it was too big. For the small of a bike as it was, it was too tall. And they had this one, and we went ahead and exchanged it, paid the extra hundred. Yeah, bucks. we exchanged it, paid the extra hundred. We don't dollars. normally do that, but we had to in that case because that bike just was not going to work. Not going to work. And uh, and really wanted a small on this one, and we're going to exchange it again if we find a small, unless we start upgrading it. Yeah, so hopefully we can find a small before we start with the upgrades. But someone's going to get a vibe that's tuned in and everything. Yeah. All right, so let's see what size this frame is. What do you think it is? Seventeen and a half. It is a 17 inch. Okay, as I, say, I said 17 to 17 and a half. Yeah, 17 inch frame. So, Very cool. see, that, this one's right. It's supposed to be, it's a medium. Mm -hmm. Okay, we so let's start calling it something. Those are trail. Hey, Mystery. you guys got any nicknames? Let us know in yeah, the comments. We might we might just give you some credit on, on naming this build. So let's talk about the fork. It's an XCT30 SR Sun Tour 29 inch. It's supposed to have 100 millimeters of travel. And we're going to see, I haven't done this yet, we're going to see how much exposed stanchion there is. Okay. So it's got 110 millimeters of exposed stanchion. Doesn't mean how much travel it has. It's listed to be 100. But we know if we bomb the sucker out completely when we do the real time review, which I plan on doing, uh, that's got actually 110. And the diameter of the stanchions are right at 32 millimeters. So 32 millimeter stanchions. Yeah, not bad. And it is a coil fort, guys. The downside with these Walmart bikes and the SR Sun Tour, though it's got a name and it's a tough fork. Only kind of thing that you've got as far as any type of adjustment are just two little preload knobs, which is more than some, but it's a lot less than most forks. It's a um, lot better when it comes on the hard work. Yeah, it's it's a coil fork, so you know this is going to be the heaviest part of the bike. Um, but uh, you got two little preload knobs, which in my experience, our experience, they don't really work. All right, another thing, before I forget, I almost forgot, guys. We are going to check this steer tube on the fork, um, and, you know, 99%... Uh, of bikes that we've checked so far that have a tapered head tube do not have a tapered steer tube. That's well, something I forgot to mention. I want to know if it's a sealed headset like the other oh, one. Oh, yeah, like the other Ozark That's trail. what I want to know. Yeah, that's a good question. This thing has sealed bearings. How crazy is that? That's great. That is cool, man. And again, if you guys wanted to, so it's not a tapered steer tube, it looks like you can take this crown race off and separate the two so you can actually still use this headset. I think, but I'm not sure. Wow, so the bottom and the top. Well, we got plenty of grease there too. The bottom and the top uh, bearings are actually sealed. Okay, that's interesting, huh? Yeah, that's 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 great. I mean, that look, this, this bike is quickly... Whoa, 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 whoa. This is something that's... Uh-oh. I knew there was something up with this head tube. Uh-oh. I mean, it's not a huge deal, but I was telling Wolfman at Walmart, I said, look, 
this head tube, something's up with it. I know it's not fake. It's obviously a real one, but there's something up with it. And he's like, well, it's a tapered head tube. I was like, yeah, well, I know it's tapered, but there's something weird with it. It is an internal. Um, I, I've, I've never experienced one of these before, guys, so forgive me if I'm calling it the wrong name. It's an internal uh, headset? I, I don't know. It's not pressed in there. It's made in the head tube. So they made the head tube, then they welded that sucker on there, and the head tube has like a uh, upper and lower cup of a, of a, a headset. Whoa. I don't know how. Let us know how do you guys feel about that. I don't know how I feel about it, but I, I don't know how I feel about it either. Because what happens if you? I mean, but what, I guess there's how nothing would you to mess set. up a cup? I don't know. Here, hold this. Let me get a shot for them. Yeah. Hold that. What? What do you call that? Integrated uh, cups. It's got a four bolt stem up front. It's sixty millimeters with a six degree rise. Yes. I don't see a kickstand. No, you don't see a kickstand. I forgot to talk about that. Uh, I was going to wait and be like, oh, the heaviest part is the kickstand. Uh, wait up. I'm going to tell you right now. So someone at Walmart's listening. Because yeah. people were griping about the uh, the Travail, Mulvail in our case. Having that welded tab on there. Yeah, one and... of the big things people were so upset about was the kickstand. Yep. So someone at, someone at Walmart's listening. Okay, let's measure these bars out. These are with the grips. We're right at 29 and 3 quarter inches. How long is that? Well, Wolfman figures out how long the bars are. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the grips. This is something interesting I found with these grips. I've got these over here. Now, we bought these when they first come out because I thought it would be interesting to have some of these. These are snafu grips from Walmart. These are uh, double lock-on grips, the grips that won't slip. Do you guys see those? Okay, we bought these from Walmart. Snafu started doing a deal with Walmart where they actually started making like aluminum pedals and some aftermarket Did you stuff. Say 29.75, 29 yeah. quarter mm -hmm. is about 755. All right, so about a 750 bar. Yeah, we'll 750, call it 750 with the grips. 755. 750, 755, approximately somewhere in there. Yeah. But uh, Snafu started doing deals with Walmart, and uh, these Snafu grips are pretty dead on to what the grips that come on the um, Ozark Trail bike are, okay? Now, they're not branded or anything like that, but they're actually double lock-on grips. Double lock-on. And uh, I'm a big fan of them already, you know, without doing the real-time review because they're super thin. And they're, I mean, they're thin and it, they're double lock -on. They're super thin. If somebody's looking at getting this bike, uh, that might be, you might want to hurry up and buy your, your grips beforehand. Um, beforehand, that's funny. Uh, because they are super thin. There's like no padding on them whatsoever. All right, but that's pretty much the Ozark Trail puh, in a nutshell. Why don't we do the shift test? Let's weigh this thing, and then let's do a little bit of positive and negatives and uh, who this bike might be for. All right, guys, here we go with the shift test. All right, start with first. Okay, we got the trigger shifter up front. Okay. How was that? Don't, don't get, get that okay? okay, let's start now. Okay, so you ready? Yep, second. Okay. Man, man. Okay, a little out of tune. You hear that? Okay. Just a little bit. Go Ready? ahead. Uh -huh. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Eighth. Oh. Okay, that sounds like it's a little bit that little way. A little bit, but that's okay. Okay, now ready? Uh -huh. I'm going to full pull it. What was that? Nine, eight, seven, six. Three? Mm hmm. Uh, and another three, we're in third, and right to first. I Man, do a fast shift down. Fast shift down. Okay, fast shift down. Ready? Or up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go. Yeah. Wow. Go and hit them, Brad. Fast shift back. Fast, fast shift yeah, go back. back. Mm -hmm. Dude. Dude. Go ahead. I Look. need a little bit of tuning, but that's the. I'm telling you right now, for a three hundred ninety-eight dollar bike, that's that's. The... All right. Let's weigh this thing. I didn't guess at it, but I'm going with. 36. 33.20. Oh, wow. Dude, it is all aluminum. We could probably get this bike under 30. We probably could. There, but let's go ahead and do the standover. I'm 5'5. Five five. This bike is recommended for riders 5'7 to 5'11. It's That's the medium. 5'6. 5'7. Five 5'7. Seven. Five seven. It's the medium mm -hmm. Ozark Trail Puh. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's not horrible. I say the standover is every bit as good as an aluminum comp, if not better. I think it's better than the aluminum comp. I mean, really, this isn't. An aluminum comp is twenty seven five. Don't get me wrong. I'm wearing skinny jeans. Okay, yeah, first yeah. of all. Okay, so wear skinny jeans. Yeah. So I do. Um, first of all. Second of all, I, it's not bad. I'm in flip flops. You know, some riding shoes. I might be up a little bit. It might be decent, but I think 
I'll have to ride this thing first, but I'm gonna say that they really nailed it with the rider height. Like I could see somebody five seven being comfortable on this bike. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. I could picture myself being Th five this seven. This bike is so much more in tune with with what it's supposed to be th than the vibe. It's, it's Except for the name. Before we go any further, before we talk about the negatives, the positives, the what? who this bike might be for, let's do a little bit of everybody's favorite. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Wolfman Dino. Yep, preload. Yeah, I mean... I'm a... We're done with the Wolfman Dino. Wolfman Dino. Okay, guys, well... We got the weight. We did the Wolf Dad Dino. We did the shift Wolf test. Man, please. We did the initial impressions on this bike. Now comes to the segment, who's this bike for? What are the positives? And what are the negatives? I want to start with mine. First of all, I'm going to start with my seat. I want to start out with positives on the Ozark Trail. The positives is you can buy this bike for under $400. You know, $400. It's 398 okay. uh, And you can Sweet get a hands. sized frame. That's Size a positive. Frame. Sealed bottom we bracket. We did see that they, in the store they only had, well, they had medium and large. They didn't have small, right? They had medium smalls. Um, they have a sealed bottom bracket, okay? That's, a group set that's with a, a free hub. A sealed headset. A sealed headset, nine speed. Uh, that is great. And I love how much. No kickstand. Yeah, no kickstand. That's a plus. Um, I, I really appreciate the workmanship that went into actually internally routing everything that's just really cool yeah, like right. i really appreciate routing that for everything um you know those are going to be my top positives my negatives is um the pedals i mean the pedals are plastic but again again we can change those things out just like you might want to do with the grips yeah. i kind of like the grips we'll see how they grip on the hands but the pedals are downside i don't really like the dork disc um, but I mean, Drogus guys, this is removable. That's removable. I, the, I know the, the, the pedals aren't. I mean, you're gonna upgrade pedals anyway. It, it's just crazy thinking For about three ninety eight. That's what I'm saying. Like, if that's the things I have to nitpick on this bike that doesn't have, that's pretty damn impressive. Um, give your positive and negatives, and let's talk about. Well, who this I, I think there's a lot of positives here. I think for a hundred dollars more than the Vibe, it's about a two or three hundred dollar better bike than yeah. the Vibe. To come with the free helps huge. I think it should. I really think the Look, I said it before. I think on the Vibe, they're off by about $100. Yeah. I think they were off on the size and off by $100 on the Vibe. They were $100 too much. This bike right here for $398 right now is worth $398, in my opinion, because it is... It, now, we haven't done the real-time review, but it looks to be... It might be a decent bike the way it sits. It yeah. might be okay. Um, and then it's so upgradable without having to purchase large items except for the fork. I'd say tires, a dropper, change this out, take that off, take the dork disc off, take the reflectors it off. It's pretty good. I, yeah. It, you know, I mean, because you, you're you obsessed with droppers internally routed, might as well do it. Different fork. I mean, the, even the handlebars and the, st the stem's even a four bolt stem. Yeah. Who's this bike for? This bike is for somebody that wants to get into mountain biking. Mm-hmm. They're not, they may have had a bike in the past or even have one now that's like the, the crappy $100, $200 Walmart bike or Academy or whatever. And now they're going, now they're going, I want a bike that I can take out there that's, that I can go on some trails now and it's going to lend itself to small upgrades over time without having to go just rebuild the whole bike. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the positives, the negatives, who this bike is for. One thing before we go I'd like to mention is I think this bike is great for somebody that is a painter and wants to paint a bike because it's not full of decals. Wolf Tick Nation, we're going to be getting out of here. Okay, we appreciate you guys watching all the way up to this point. If yeah, you great. have, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're any part of the Wolf Tick Nation. Okay, you guys want to help support cool builds, cool buys like this where we can actually go out and get the this newest of bikes. Yet. This is just a bike. I know. But if you guys want to help support the channel a little bit, um, you guys can always feel free to uh, buy us a cup of coffee. You buy us a cup of coffee goes right into the channel. helps us do this kind of stuff. We bought this with our own money. All right, guys. Wolf Tick Nation, we are out of here. Appreciate you guys watching. Yeah.